Get dunked, kid! <laughs> Hello, friends! My name is Brandon Date, and I'm your humble narrator. Today, we are looking at the new Awesome Knots character in the beta, Snork Gunk, which is pretty ridiculous as far as names go, but they've also got a character in this game called Durple Zork, so I don't think uh, it's too far out of the realm of possibility. So, Snork Gunk is supposed to be like uh, an adversary of that new Kitara, which is, I think we showcased her last week. So, really, really interesting. He's like super big and fat, 5'11", 400 pounds, but apparently he's like super good at basketball or something like that. He's got uh, his little melee looking attack. Not quite melee, but it's interesting. And then he's got this uh, springy ball. And basically, he can stick to stuff, drag himself to enemies. It's really, really nice. Finally, for middle click, you summon three little shells around yourself, which explode when they hit enemies. We'll go ahead and check out what he's got as far as uh, upgrades and the like. So, obviously, max health, health regeneration, a little bit of movement speed, uh, additional health from killing critters, 100 solar, baby curie mammoth. All this is usually the same for every awesome knot these days. It used to change up a little bit, but I don't think it does anymore. This is his melee attack, the conch dunk. Get dunked, kid! And so you can increase the base, base damage uh, by 11%. Each hit against an enemy with the conch dunk will reduce the cooldown of shell bombs by 0.3%. That's kind of nice. Increase damage of conch dunk versus droids by 20%. Adds a slowing effect, which slows enemy by 20% for one second. Increase the next base damage of conch dunk, conch dunk, I have such a hard time saying that, by 150% when hitting an enemy with a shell bomb. This last one, increase the damage of conch dunk by 35% when hitting enemies who are stunned, slowed, silenced, blinded, or snared, is the one that I think most builds are going to be based around. Largely because you can add a slow to your um, conch dunk itself, and you'll be doing, what, 46% damage, something like that? So this dude can churn out the damage, especially if he gets his little explodey shells. When people try and run away, uh, they'll just run into the shells, and it ends up being a really, really nasty character to go up against, uh, as far as I can tell. Let's see what we've got on the uh, the shell bombs, these three little spinning orbs, adding a knockback while shell bombs are active to your melee attack. A knockback to your melee attack is pretty useful, if you would ask me. Uh, increase lifetime by one, one second, increase size by 50%, increase explosion damage by 11%, add a healing effect, which heals allied awesome knots for 104 per second. So, I, I guess you... You don't hit them with the uh, shell bomb, it's just while it's active. If they're near you, I think they're healing, which is pretty decent, I guess. It's uh, supposed to be a harass or not, but I guess you could build it as a support as well. Uh, gain a shield, which reduces damage taken by 20% when shell bomb's active. Probably what you want to go for, since if shell bomb is active, you're going to be putting yourself into the, uh, the enemy line of fire. Uh, Sticky Snail shoots out... A sticky snail which pours you, pulls you towards walls or enemy knots with such force that enemies in the area take 106 damage and are slowed by 20% for 2.5 seconds. So even if you didn't build slowing onto your conch dunk, this would slow the enemies as well, which is really, really sweet. Uh, increase the range by 50%. Increase base damage. Hell yeah. Always go for that. Damage and range is always a good idea. Adds a life stealing effect. Oh, that is tasty as well. Reduce cooldown. That is very nice. Adds a slowing effect. Oh, increases the slowing effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably wouldn't go for that, but it's not bad. When the snail sticks, it will unleash a stun pulse, stunning enemies for 0.4 seconds, which is really, really nice for those interrupts and things like that. So let's see what we can do now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this walkie-talkie and electric stun baton. I can't quite afford the, uh, the slowing yet. Hmm... 250? I'll wait on it. I'll wait on it, that's fine. This dude has uh, quite a floaty jump. It's a little bit interesting. We should be just a little bit behind. But yeah, I wrecked Raylan's day just then. <laughs> I don't plan to stay behind, that's all I'm saying. We're gonna bring it back around. Bring it around town! Boom! Got him again. 
you can see how powerful this this, this awesome knot is if you combo his abilities together. Drag yourself into the enemy, get your little conch dunk going on him, and then uh, get the the snails and uh, yeah, knock the enemies. Just just yeah, there's there's no stopping it basically. I think that um, this this guy's gonna end up getting nerfed before too long. It seems that Ronimo doesn't do a whole lot of testing before they release knots into the beta, um, because usually when knots are released, they're pretty powerful. And yeah, this guy is no exception to that rule. So I didn't quite have uh, my snails ready, but that's okay. Nah was too dumb, didn't want to go anywhere, and uh, ended up paying the price. We're gonna flip this game back around right quick. Right quick! There we go. And hit him. Damn, damn, damn. Here's that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, just make him think you're gonna go away and then swing yourself back into the fray. This, the cooldown on the snails is relatively short, so you shouldn't have much problem having those ready when you need them. And uh, yeah, the mo mobility just, just goes so far with this guy. He looks big and fat, but he can put himself into the fray in less than a second, which uh, is important in Awesome Knots. You can also use it as kind of like a mobility move if you shoot onto walls and the like, especially turrets. You'll uh, you'll end up going towards the turret, which is pretty cool. I fucked that Durple up. I think they're going to knock through that turret just fine. Yeah. Well done. Well done, all. Alrighty. So we've got one of their turrets down. Raylan's chasing people around like she's a fucking badass. There you go. Have some of that, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, this guy just just chews things apart. It's really, really amazing. I jumped into this match. I've now got seven kills. So, um, yeah, I don't hesitate to say that this guy is going to see a nerf relatively soon. See if I can get this circle again. Not quite. Not quite. I can also kind of hit people through the turret with the... Uh, the shells if they're trying to guard their turret and the like. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Obviously doesn't go quite as far as uh, some things do, i.e. Rocco's arrow, but it serves a pretty good purpose. It's really, really nice. I'm gonna go back to base, see if we can't build this, build this madness up a little bit further, because uh, I know just how crazy this guy can get. So increase base damage. Damn, I want some more. Can I get some more, please? Yeah, we can afford that. All right, max out the uh, the damage of that sticky snail move, and now I should be able to just burst anything into the ground. And this guy is not exceedingly frail either. Well, <laughs> I didn't quite pull off that move as I hoped it would go, but it turned out relatively well. We're smashing their turrets up, even though I gave the the enemies a head start. I was like, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, y'all. Do what you want to do up there. And now we're just, uh, got a massive wave. There's no way they're going to be able to stop this. I'm going to tear up this Durple. ba boop ba boop Done. Done, done, done. And another one. Another one. Another one. Get him, get him. Not quite. That's all right, though. We are in here now. They are, they are just, yeah, dead as hell. Ten kills, made relatively easy. Look at that, there's another one. <laughs> Were you not impressed? Are you not entertained? And another one. <laughs> God damn. This character is just amazing. Uh, when he comes to the full game, I'm sure he's just going to run rampant for a little while before Ron Mo ends up nerfing him. But yeah, really a satisfying character to play, if you were to ask me. Definitely check him out. Um, I'm going to do some practicing with him if I can find a game, which is uh, the hardest part about Awesome Knots for me recently. So I've, I'm a little bit rusty, but even with the rust, I shake the rust off a little bit and s just smash faces with Snork Gunk, which uh, is not an easy easy name to say. His abilities are not easy. <laughs> don't have easy names either, but uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. That's not what I what I play him for. Why would you play a character for the name of the ability anyway? What the what the fuck is that? Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. Watch out for a little bit more of Snork Gunk coming up. 
quite soon. Once he comes to a full release, I'm sure they're going to uh, tone him down just a little bit because right now he is fucking crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon if you'd like to support me there in any way. That would be massively appreciated as well. Big thanks to MMX Akira for being our uh, our current Patreon supporter. If you'd like to check out the reward tiers, you can get shoutouts, game time with me, all that kind of stuff um, if you're into it. So, no pressure, but I would appreciate it. Anyways, thanks once again, friends. This has been Awesome Nuts with Snork Gunk. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.